What's up everybody, Feather Way to Touch here, you know what it is. Thank you all very much for dropping by and tuning in. Today we've got a special unboxing video. We've got the Razer Leviathan version two. I had the version one, which was the original of course, and I had that since launch. And it finally gave out a couple of days ago, so I've decided, you know what, let's go ahead and pick up the version two because I was really impressed with the first one. So the only thing that I did not like when looking up the version two was that it didn't have any wall mount brackets in the back of the speaker, but that is okay because I have speaker wall mounts. Whoa! So it didn't really bother me, but it, it is kind of like, uh, but now I have to use these wall mounts and take them from something else. So yeah, I gotta go, go buy some wall mount brackets, but hey, I'll go ahead and use the ones that I currently got and go ahead and cop some other ones uh, that were pretty much the same ones from the store. And um, I'll be able to show you guys what this looks like when we get home. However, we're here today to unbox and see the contents inside the box. So without further ado, let's go. Alrighty, so as we can see, THX Bluetooth, of course, plug and play. A little bit of a Razer logo there. Razer Leviathan version 2. PC gaming soundbar with Chroma RGB. Now, who does not? Chroma RGB, y'all don't even know. That FPS peaks when you've got Chroma. If you're not even rocking the RGB, I don't know how you're playing video games nowadays. But basically gives you all the details and of course shows you what the item looks like, the soundbar with the subwoofer looks like. The one thing I had a problem with my version one is I broke the subwoofer myself, so I couldn't really complain about it because I'm the one that broke it. Um, the connection for the subwoofer into the soundbar was abysmal. However, um, it lasted me about five years with the subwoofer and um, yeah, I broke it eventually. And uh, yeah, I ended up just using the sound bar and the sound quality without the subwoofer was still phenomenal. So we do, we do that. A little bit of information on the side as well as the side of the box. And of course, all of the goody details about the subwoofer back here as well. And of course, get the Razer Audio and Chroma RGB apps, which your boys already got because I got tons and tons of Razer products. So without further ado, let's go ahead remove this tape here. I'm not great with unboxing videos. I don't do these often. I just usually do it if it's like affects my channel in some way, shape or form. Finally getting that done. Uh, wasn't the cleanest cuts, but hey, uh, we are not a professional unboxing channel up in this beat. Of course, as always, Razer products coming in with the Colleen packaging. Got the Razer Leviathan V2 little manual, little guide, um, and of course, how to maximize your device with Razer Synapse, all that stuff. This is the instruction booklet. Oh, y'all don't even know how many stickers I have at home. And I do cheat some of my products. Like I got an external uh, CD drive, and I covered the logo of that uh, external CD drive with a Razer logo. So. I officially have the first, one and only, uh, Razer external CD drive. Of course, you've got the cables themselves. This is the power cable. Uh, this is the power cable also connecting into the uh, Razer Leviathan. We've got USB. And of course, we've got... Oh, this is the power cable. This is... The power cable. Fuck, bro. Why is there two? These are identical. What does it mean? Why do we have two of these? I don't know. Well, we have two power cables that that connect to this, and of course, we got USB. We'll see. Oh, subwoofer. Hello. All right. So we got all the all the cables, all that stuff. Uh, what is this? What is this bad boy? Ooh. Okay. Okay. Showing us how it works. A little bit of an install. A little bit of positioning. A little bit of power and a little bit of switching of the modes. It is very identical to the um, first one, so I pretty much know how to run this. Also, if you guys want a little bit of an update guide on this, not an update guide, but like an update um, video on the Razer Leviathan version two, uh, a little bit of like a, a recap and a review, let me know. We got something in here, and I don't know what this is. It felt clothy. I see something in the box, and I want to know what it is. Uh, these are... Oh, these are uh, stands. These are lights. And there's nothing else in these. We're good. 
We got throw you away. We throw you away. We throw you away. We got leggies. All right. Um, what else can we pull out here? What is this heavy bad boy? I'm assuming this is the speaker itself. Oh my gosh, it is so much lighter and so much smaller than the actual Razor Leviathan. Let's go ahead and pull this out of its packaging. I'm gonna keep this packaging because I gotta take this home with me. So keep it in the packaging, which would be great. A little bit of lights already in place, but of course you wanna go ahead and change those up. Uh, a little bit of, oof, this is, Going against the wall, it actually might be might be key. Um, oh, we have the same. It does look better, but the subwoofer connection just still pisses me off. Subwoofer connection. We got the PC connection, and of course the power connection. A little bit of a bubba base, and of course it's so much more slimmer. And of course you got the RGB. I mean, again, the RGB, the RGB B do going nuts though. Um, THX surround sound. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, because again, I haven't had my soundbar with a subwoofer in God knows how long. Um, can I throw this away too? Nothing here. Right, we're good. We love that. Alright, next up. We've got the subwoofer. And this should be it. Making not too much noise there. Uh, however, we got the subwoofer. So let's go ahead and slowly pull this apart if I can. Uh, okay, I want to do it from the bottom. So what we're gonna do, put this down, and then we get this going. All right, so we're gonna pull the packaging from the bottom, pull out from the top, a little bit of slider Rooney here. Oh yeah, this is, okay, so this is, the subwoofer already looks better than the old one as well. The other one was massive and bulky. This one's so massive and bulky, but it's in a lot better, I don't know, it just feels sleeker, it just feels slimmer, I don't know, it's just got that feeling of not as freaking fat as the other one. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and rip this packaging off, put this away. <clears throat> Alright, so we got the subwoofer, very plain, no RGBs on the subwoofer, but it's going on the floor anyways. Of course, it's just pretty much a standard black box. It's a subwoofer with the Razer logo on top, but you can't see it. And inside there, of course, power cables, but I don't want to really take that out because it's just going to go right back into the box. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, it's a standard looking soundbar. Actually, no, I wouldn't say it's a standard looking soundbar. This is a phenomenal looking soundbar. Um, I'm happy with the size of this. The other one probably went out to here. So hopefully, I'm very positive I'll be fine, but hopefully when I can put the mount brackets on, it covers the holes of the previous uh, Leviathan that I have up there. And I'm hopefully, what I picture in my mind is that chroma just gently going down the wall behind my computer. Woo! Gonna look hella nice, gonna look hella nice. So let's go ahead, put this back away, and um, let's go ahead and see what it looks like in person. Alrighty, as you can see on the left is the nice sleek version 2 and of course on the right is the version 1 model. I'm about to go ahead and swap these two out. I do got to do a little bit of work to get this version 2 up on the wall, but hey, they are actually very, very similar in sizing. I, they're actually almost, I, they're probably identical in sizing. It's just the shape of the speaker that is a little bit slightly different. I thought the version 2 was slightly smaller, but hey. Alrighty, everybody. As you can see, we now have the Razer Leviathan V2 posted up above the monitor. But as you can see, it is extremely uncentered. However... Um, I did have the TV and the speaker up way before I had this setup change with the double desk and everything else. Um, so that is the issue that I currently have. I was not able to centralize. I'm able to centralize the monitor to the speaker and the TV, but that's just not what I'm going to do. I'm eventually just going to go ahead and get rid of all of the, uh, the, uh, the white little panels, as you can see. There's three of them that are hiding wires. And I'm eventually just going to go ahead and shift all of this over to the side so that it can be perfectly centralized. But for now, it is what it is. It looks perfect for me. And hey, let's go ahead and see what it looks like with the lights. Oh. 